Hey everybody and welcome back to Collins Crazy Creatures. I'm here at Major League Exotic Pets in Jackson, New Jersey. And we've met Major League Exotic Pets at many reptile shows, but this is their store. So let's go in and check out their brick and mortar store. Major League Exotic Pets not only has a bunch of cool creatures, they also have supplies and enclosures for those creatures. Now let's meet Alan, the owner, and see some animals. This is Alan, he is the owner of Major League Exotic Pets, and this is a really cool snake. Can you tell me more about it? Sure. This is a type of uh, Asian rat snake that they typically call bamboo rats. Uh, these bamboo rats come in a, a few different species. Uh, this particular one is called a Union Mountain bamboo rat. Um, you know, there's, there's three or four different ones. Some are striped, some are banded, some are banded and striped. Some are yellow and red, some are red. But uh, very, very cool animal, pretty neat snakes. What is this snake eating and is it captive bred or? It's, they're, they're captive bred, they're pretty much all captive bred at this point. Uh, it eats rodents, it eats banky mice. It'll graduate to pretty much an adult mouse when it's full grown. That's the biggest thing in the league. This is a cool-looking gecko, so can you tell me more about it? Sure. Uh, the common name is a dune gecko. The scientific name is Stanodactylus petrii. Uh, these geckos are from Egypt. They come from basically a complete desert type situation. They just eat insects. They're fairly easy to keep. They don't grow to any larger than that. This is a full-grown one. Okay, that's cool. In addition to all the herps, Major League Exotic Pets also has a bunch of other animals, including fish, and all the supplies needed to take care of them. Including a live coral tank. They also have multicolored crayfish, and I really like crayfish. I of course came for the reptiles. Let's get back to the herps. It's your typical boa constrictor, but it's what's called a hypo arabesque boa. A hypo and arabesque are the two genes that it has. The arabesque is a pattern abnormality. It makes sort of like a chain pattern. 
and some you know clean sides down down the body of the animal and the hypo part just stands for hypomelanistic so all the dark pigment is reduced which gives all the pastel colors and the orange colors in the tail This is a panther chameleon, and this one's pretty young, and he has really cool color combination with some red on the neck and more green and blue on the body with a white with a white stripe. Here's a couple of birds and mammals I met. This is an African pygmy hedgehog and they make pretty popular exotic pet mammals. What? And if you and and even though they are good pets, they're not cuddly because the back is spiny. And if you are you can pet them, but you have to pet them like this, so it's not so it's not prickly. This is a sugar glider. They are a mammal, but as in the name implies, they can glide by jumping from a high place and then expanding some skin flaps that allows them to glide. And when they're scared, they make a really weird sound. And they're more comfortable inside sacks, so not me specifically, but the whole group who got him out is going to help me put him back in the pouch. And here's more herps. This is a Dumeril's bow. In our last Lebanon video, we featured a Dumeril's bow that was a baby, and this one is bigger, but still not fully grown. This is a black pine snake. They have a lot of large lizards or lizards that are gonna get big, like black and white tegus or spiny neck monitors, like this one is. Can you tell me more about spiny neck monitors? Sure. It's, uh... It's an animal that was only really discovered in 1992. Uh, it's fairly rare. It comes from the Solomon Islands. It comes from one particular island uh, in the Solomons. Uh, it's Varanus spinulosa is the uh, scientific name. But uh, it's a very, very specialized monitor. It grows to about three to four feet. Pretty cool animal. This is 
is a bunch of morphed bull snakes. <laughs> It wouldn't be a visit to Major League Exotic Pets without looking at the invertebrates. Alright, this is Paul from Major League Exotic Pets. Just want to let you guys know that we have the largest selection of tarantulas and the entire Northeast selection of the United States. Uh, why don't you give us a run of what you got there? This is a green bottle blue. Very cool spider. It comes from uh, Venezuela. They like a very dry. Uh, it's a new world tarantula, so it's a lot easier than the old world tarantulas. But we got tons of uh, selections, as you guys can see here. Um, I got tons of fossil areas. I got the, the Cootie Sapphire. I got uh, Formosa. Um, if you want something um, more of a you know slower speed, I got the new world stuff over there. Rocky Palmas, Gramistolas. Yeah, Versa colors here. Yeah, we got the Salmapia species, all different types, Cambridgei, um, Trinidad Chevrons, you, know, you name it, we got it at uh, Major League Exotic Pets. I also hear that she got the Salmapia Victoria or the Darth Maul. Yes, we do. We got two in stock, actually. We just came in. You can see them right over there. Very cool species. There are a lot of morphs of snakes here. This is a lavender golden child reticulated python. Can you show me more morphs of snakes that you have here? Sure. There's all the cool stuff. That's a yellow belly pie bowl ball python. That's a super pastel pie bowl ball python. That's a banana spide or banana spider ball by them. That's a crystal ball python. Super pastel ivory. A vinyl pie bulb. This is a blue-eyed leucistic Burmese python. This is a really cool boa. It is a lipstick sun glow boa. Can you tell me what that means? Sure, it's basically a hypo albino, and lipstick line is a, uh, a line of line bread bows. <laughs> it's a little feisty. <laughs> <laughs> This is a giant leaf-tailed gecko. Can you tell me more about that? Sure. Uh, it's uh, the, basically the largest type of leaf-tailed gecko. They come from Madagascar. Um, very cool animal. Typically, it uses camouflage. You know, just blends in with the tree. Basically, in the wild, you really can't even see them when they're sitting on a tree. They uh, also have more teeth than any other vertebrate animal in the world. They have, like, almost 300 teeth. <laughs> Imagine getting bit by that. They have cool eyes. The eyes are one of those parts. This is a red tegu, tegu that belongs to one of the employees. I had a great time at Major League Exotic Pets store and they have a great selection of reptiles, amphibians, invertebrates, mammals, birds, and fish. And if you want to visit, it's in Jackson, New Jersey, off exit, uh, what exit? 98. Exit 98. 
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and see you next time on Colin's Crazy Creatures.